What's up? Working on S13 again. Uh, today, I'm gonna see how far I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pull all the front suspension out. Uh, I'm gonna pull all the front suspension out. Uh, spray the bay. That color right there. Color that color. Are you huh? What color are you spraying? That color. Gray? You'll see in a little bit. Oh, I guess so. It's gray. gray. It's a cool looking gray. That's what he wanted. Um, so I'm gonna drop the front suspension just a little bit. Just, not very far, just to get it a little bit down. I'm not gonna unhook the brakes or anything. Put it up on jack stands, pull windshield wipers and the little cowl cover. Spray it, put it back together, and then maybe if I got time after the paint dries, we could drop that 1J in. That's over there. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Do that. And uh, let's do this. I got those unbolted. Everything is unbolted besides one cunty boy. Basically, the nut that's welded up in there probably just rusted away. So I have to cut it off. So that's what I'm doing. And then she'll ready, she'll be ready to drop. And then Matt pointed out that it's still really fucking dirty, so I gotta clean it a lot more. She needs a little finesse. She needs a little finesse. So I picked up a new phone. Let me know how you like it, how audio and the video looks. But here she is, cleaned up the cut edges, sanded everything down, taped everything off. I'm probably just gonna throw a little piece of tape right in that area. Um, but right now I got this guy covered in some lacquer thinner or mineral spirits or something. And I'm just gonna clean her off because you don't want that stuff to be under your paint. And then all that dirt and stuff. And that's super dirty. So I might use a separate rag and then, then hit it with the mineral spirits. But I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna start spraying. So right there's the color. You can't really see it, but it's a dark gray. Got a lot of metallic in it. And we're gonna start shooting. Here she is after the first coat. You can kind of start to see the color. But uh, just gotta, you know, cover up all the bullshit. But she's getting there. Definitely look a lot better than the shitty rusty black that was there before. There's the second coat all done. You can see it's all basically solid color. Um, so I'm gonna do one more coat and I'm gonna lay it on really thick so it'll get, how you can see it's very flat. It'll get a nice shine to it after this coat. And also, when you're doing this, make sure, just personal preference, but, you know, I didn't tape anything off, but I like to spray everything, at least, you know, somewhat, because if this fender comes off, I don't want it to look, like, half fucking painted. And there's some, like, really nice-looking cars that you'll see it, like, simply clean and shit. You take the skirts off or the body kit off, and it's just, like, a total different color, and I think that looks like shit. And also... How I'm doing. Try to get like up under there. You gotta you gotta shoot it from like every fucking different angle and it's kind of a bitch, but it's definitely worth it. There it is, final coat. You can see it's got a little bit of gloss to it. It's no show finish, but it's good enough. So I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and then I'm gonna take all that stuff, peel all the tape, because uh, you don't want the tape to sit too long, because then it gets to be a bitch to peel and then I'm gonna let her dry for a couple hours and start throwing her back together another tip for you is just brush everything looks like shit right there we'll re-hit that but just brush everything with sandpaper wipe it down and shoot it with some spray paint and it just looks way better way better and it's simple costs like the cheapest can of fucking spray paint you can find and boom. 2,000 years later. 
So we dropped that bitch in there. Um, it still is going. It's going to be scooted back, probably as far back as we can. You can kind of see down there. See the zoom on this bitch. Ooh, look at that. That's solid. Yeah, we're going to scoot it back about as far as we can right there. And uh, you know that'll clear up, close up that gap a little bit, and that'll give us more room on the radiator. And that'll make the shifter line up a little better. It's not bolted up right now, which is why it's all side, off to the side a little bit. But there she is. And also it's sitting on the sway bar. But thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you like the new phone, the video. Should be sauce.